Hello and welcome to another tutorial on the LEGO ZRS channel. Today we are going to cover how to make a program that can keep your robot moving straight using the gyro sensor. This program is great for FLL robots due to its ability to keep the robot on track over large distances. I've covered the basics of how to do this in a previous video, but since then I've improved upon the program. I'll also show you how to condense this program into a MyBlock for easy use. The program revolves around this small piece of programming. It uses the fact that if you subtract the gyro sensor, read out from the angle you want to follow, you get a number that can be plugged into the steering block. Although the final product is significantly bigger and more complex, you can still see that bit of programming in here and here. All of the extra programming adds extra functions like the ability to move backwards and allow for more accuracy by taking the average of two rotation sensors instead of relying on just one. To start out, take two motor rotation blocks from the sensor category. One will need to be set to B while the other is set to C. After that, set both of them to reset. Now we're going to drag out three variable blocks from the data operations category. We're going to make a variable for each of these. On the first, we're going to make a variable called spe speed. Okay, press OK. Then on the second, we will make a variable called angle. Next, we're going to drag out three variable blocks from the data operations category. For this, we will need to make three new variables, one called angle, Okay, another called speed, add variable, speed, and a third called distance. We will use these as inputs for the my block. Now drag out another variable block and set it to distance. After that, set this to read numeric. Beside this, drag out a compare block and set it to greater than or equal to. Drag the data wire from the previous distance variable into the first A slot. Now set the B slot to zero. This part here senses if you want to, the robot to go forwards or backwards. Now take a switch block from the flow control category and set it to logic. Drag the data wire from the compare block and put it into this slot. Since we need two different programs to allow the pro robot to go forward and backwards, this allows it to switch between those two programs depending on whether you type in a positive distance or a negative distance. The next part of the program we will make over here at the end. This will is because it is easier to place blocks here and attach data wires and it will be moved to the right place later on in the program. To start, take three variables out and name the first one to angle, the second one to speed, and the third to distance. Now set all of these to read numeric. After that, drag out a loop from flow control and set it to logic. Here and set to logic. Next, drag out a gyro sensor block and a math block. Set the gyro sensor's port to whatever your gyro sensor is plugged into your, on your EV3 brick. Then set the math block to subtract. Drag the data wire from the gyro sensor block and put it into the B port on the math block. Now drag the data wire from the angle variable into the A port on the math block. Now take a move steering, set it here, and set it to on. Take the ANTS result from the math block and plug it in to the steering port. Now take the data wire from speed and plug it into the speed port on the steering block. Next, take two motor rotation blocks and set one to B and the other to C. Next, take a math block and set it to advanced. Advanced. Type in the equation A 
plus b. Type in the equation a plus d b divided by c. Drag b to a, the a port, c to the b port, and set c to 2. Leave the d port alone as it is not used in this equation. After that, drag out another compare block from the data operations section and set it to greater than or equal to. Take the result of the math function and plug it into the A port and then the distance variable plugged into the B port. Take the result of this compare block and plug it into the loop. Now we are going to duplicate this program and put each program in its respective section. To duplicate the program, highlight this part, type in control C, then type control V. Move the clone down for storage over here. First, we're going to put this program in the true section. To do this, we have to drag each of these blocks one at a time except for what is in the loop which we can just drag the loop inside now we need to reattach our variables wires take the angle wire and plug it into the a port of this math block take the speed and plug it into the speed power port of this move block and the distance plugged into the b port of this compare block. Before we put this part in, we need to make a few modifications. First, we will need to change the subtract setting to an add setting. Now, take out the data wire from the power and add in a math block. Set the math block to multiply and the B port to negative 1. Then drag in the speed data wire to the A port and t drag the result to the power port of the move block. Now to move it back up, we drag it one at a time into the false section of the switch block. Now take distance data wire and move it to the compare block, the B port and the compare block. Take the result and drag it to the power port in the move block. Now, take the speed data wire and plug it into the A port on the math block. Take the angle data wire and plug it into the A port on this math block. After that, we have one more thing to do. Drag in a move steering block to the very end of the program and set it to off. So, now we are done with the program. This is the entirety of the program. Now we are going to make it into a MyBlock so we can easily use it in programming. The MyBlock will look like this with three customizable ports, angle, speed, and distance. The angle will be automatically set to zero, making your robot go straight or follow the zeroth angle. The speed is preset to 50 and controls the speed. If you want your robot to go backwards, change the speed to a negative number. The distance is preset at 360 and is set to degrees. The degrees allow for more precise control over the robot instead of rotations. To make this into a my block, zoom out like I have done and highlight all of the program except for the play block at the beginning. So everything except for that. Go to tools and my block builder and name your block gyro straight you can't put a space in the name of the my block in this tab but you can do that later now press the gyro sensor icon on the my block icons this will make the picture associated with the block a gyro sensor then add three parameters to your my block Click on the first parameter and go to Parameter Setup. The name will be Angle. Make sure this is checked to Input, Data Type, Number, 
and a text input and default value will be zero. Go to parameter icons and scroll down until you find the straightforward arrow. Next, go to the second number input and type in the name speed. This will be a vertical slider and the default value will be 50. You can change the default value to whatever speed you use most in your programming. Now go to parameter icons and find the second speedometer icon. Now go to the third number input. Set the parameter icon to this little symbol right here. Go to parameter setup and type in the name as distance. The default value will be 360 because there are 360 degrees in a single rotation of the wheel. Now you can click finish and as you can see we have this little piece now besides our, beside our programming. Drag the angle data wire to the angle variable at the beginning, the speed to the speed variable, and so on. As you can see, this has made a new program up here. That is a my block. If you go to our old program, it is now just this small block. You can use this block however many times you want, dragging it up from the My Block section. You can now delete this program by going to Program Experiment List, Project Properties, and delete the program. Delete. The program is now stored in My Blocks under the name Gyro Straight. To get a space between the gyro and straight, double click up here. Click between it and just simply press the spacebar. Now save everything and you are ready to start programming with our new my block. Now I will explain how to use this block. You can drag it out as many times as you want and it will virtually replace the need for any mo other move blocks. Keep in mind that the position you start the robot in is now the gyro sensor blocks angle zero. If you want it to turn right to 90 degrees, you can simply type in 90 to the angle variable. If you want it to turn left 90 degrees, type in negative 90. You can manipulate the speed by using the slider or typing in the number you want. Keep in mind that you type in a negative number to go backwards. Do not type in a negative distance or else the block will mess up. Also, when turning more than 360 degrees, you must type in the degree that corresponds to how far you are turning. Say if you turn 90 degrees five times, that added up 450. So programming that in, you would need five move blocks, four and five. The first one set to 90, the second, 180, the third to 270, the fourth to 360, and then the fifth and final one to 450. Now the robot will do the program. Another useful thing about this my block is in a normal program you would have to use two blocks to complete a turn and then drive forward. A block to turn and then a block to go straight. But when using this my block you only need one block to complete both actions. To do the same thing with normal move blocks we would need 10 different blocks and it would look something like this. Not to mention you would have to calculate how far your robot would have to turn each and every time. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any ideas for new tutorials, tell me in the comments below.